Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. I um, want to say a big thank you to everyone that dropped a comment uh, wishing me a get well and speedy recovery and so forth. I am doing much better. A little bit on the slow side yet, so I'm just kind of taking it easy. But I got this Emerson boat out here with the 115 Johnson, and the weather got nice, so I need to get this thing buttoned up. It's just a wake up and a little bit of a check over, and then I have to drain the old fuel out of the tank. So I'm going to get to going on that, and I'll do a fax check on it and everything. Um, it's got an electric start, so I won't be needing to do no with my soreness. So I'll uh, get my little electric pump. I'll show you that, and we'll start getting this old gas out of it. Get some plugs out of it. Give it a look over. Spark check, compression check, and yatta 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 boom. That's what we're gonna do. So, let me get set up, get a ladder out there where I can get in the thing, and uh, we'll get started on this pretty boat right there in that Johnson 115, and see what we find. So, there we go, it's a little better. So, we'll get started on that. I'll get my stepladder out here where we can get up in there and hook up the battery and I'll show you the fuel tank we're gonna drain and so forth and I'll be right back all right so there's how I empty a gas tank I got my power pack with a cigarette lighter adapter it goes over to that electric fuel pump the fuel pump then pumps it into the jerry cans and I'm guessing I'll need three or three or four of those jerry cans give me them out. This gas in there is over five years old so it needs to come out. That's the setup. Power pack, electric fuel pump, jerry can. Quite simple. I'll be back. Okay I took 15 gallons um, of fuel out of the tank from the fill spout. And then when I got down to the dregs near the bottom, I came back here. And I took off the Raycor water separating filter. This guy here. And you can see what was in there. Yummy. So I took that off. And now... Right there is where the Raycor filter goes. You can see I got the hose unhooked. And now I'm drawing from the hose and I've got my electric fuel pump and power pack set up. So I'm drawing from the hose that would feed the engine. And I'll draw the rest of the gas out in that fashion. And I hope there's not a whole lot more. You can see what's in that jug. So the first bunch of gas that was in the hoses was looking pretty bad. It's running kind of clear now. but So now I'll draw the rest of the fuel out of that tank via the, the hose itself. I'll be back. All right. Got about 122. That's on the top port bank. One, two, two. Go, go. That ain't gonna work. Upper. 
So pretty oily. Pretty oily. Let's see. Let's get the bottom screwed in. All zeroed out. Let's see what we get. Yeah. And got it. We got 120, 25, 30, 35. 120. 135 on the bottom. Now these are dry. Um, I haven't squirted anything in there, nothing. So that's 135. Just write it on there. One, three, out there. We got one twenty, twenty-five, thirty on the top starboard. Thirty. Most of the plugs are looking about the same. Pretty black, oily. And these are QL78YCs. I got four brand Newmans to put in there. Alright, let's see what we get on this bottom. Mm, guys. He rode out. We got one twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty. One thirty-five. So let me do this top. Left one again, top port one. Let me do him again. All right, so so one thirty-five on this guy.
120, 25, 30. That's better. So, let me change that number to 130. Maybe I didn't have it screwed in quite tight enough or something, but... So, now we're getting... Change that to 30. One thirty. All right. One thirty. One thirty-five. One thirty. One thirty-five. All right. Now I can't hook without a bunch of trouble. My uh, push button starter because of where that solenoid is. Just buried. But let's see what I can do. Right, I got my sparky checker over here. Let's find a spot. Be to be to be to be. Yeah, it'll hold on. Right. Oh. I want to make sure this ain't touching anything aluminum in them. Same with you guys over here. No Aki Spocky. I don't know if I'll be able to see that from up there, but I'm going to try. I'll let you see it now. I got good hot sparky all four. Watch them spark checkers right there, all four of them. I can see all four sparky warky. So, we got some compression. We got some spocky action. So, we got some good number on the compressionis. So, we did the compressionis testionis. We got good spocky on us. You on a Spanish size? Speak out of Spanish. So, I'll gap up some plugs. I'm going to put a little tri-flow in those cylinders just to help give it a good pop when we do go to start it. Um, however, the store that I normally get my ray cores from is closed today and tomorrow. So... I've got to get a ray core. Um, I've emptied the tank. So I'll go get 10 gallons worth of good gas. Then I'm going to take it apart here. Oh man, that's rusty. Um, or maybe right in here. Probably right there. I'll take that off and pull a vacuum on that to get as much as that nasty fuel out of there as I can um, before I try and start this thing because I, I the fuel that was in the hoses was literally purplish black and this is a oil injected motor it has the separate oil tank um, inside the boat there and so I want to get as much of this yuck as I can. This has got the four rack plastic carburetors on it. Um, so I want to get all that out of there that I can. So I'll probably part it right here and pull a vacuum on it there and get uh, get either of these. Get that out of there. So right now we're gonna 
gap some brand new spark plugs at 30 and get them in there. And I'll give it a shot of trot flow. So, let's give them a shot of the old tri flow in them cylinders. Same over here on this side. There's my brand new ones, QL78YC, Copper Marine. You want to stun us? So, get my little gappy gagey thing. See where we're at. Yeah, she's a little tight. Uh, so, you want it to be at about 30 there. Look them good. So that's the number. That's the number, babies. We put it on 30. And I got a customer pulling up. Mr. Devin, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good. What you got going? I, uh, I, well, remember I had the uh, 15 horse uh, Honda? Um, I think so. Yeah. Four stroke yeah. that we worked on, and then uh, it sunk, and you got, got it going again, and it never, carburetor was never, never right. Never you bounced back. And you said uh, it's, uh, sometimes you just got to get a new one. Yep. So I did. Oh, okay. My son put it in, but now, and I think he did it right. I mean, it wasn't very complicated. Would this be the son that didn't know he needed a kill switch for his yeah. <laughs> a kill clip? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But anyway, now I can't get it to fire at all. Um, no, no, no. I mean, I don't know if I got spark. I can't tell. I'm going to turn my camera off, you know. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what, all right, let's what do you, see. Are you... Uh, Use it! Use it! A little dab of doo On the ceramic. On the tip. On the ceramic. On the tip. You get the idea. I did tighten them down. Okay. okay. One more time, make sure I got them all snug. It's rug. Okay. All right. So we got a little dime electric on there. All right. And there's the top. There's the bottom. There's the 
here's the top and here's the bottom all right so we got fresh gap plugs we got good compression um but that's about as far as I can go with it right now until I get this situation. See, there ain't no Raycor there. And I can't get one today, and I don't have one on my part shelf. At least I don't think I do. I'm going to go look again. But, so, kind of done with it right now. Um... I could proceed to change the lower unit oil, but it is actually starting to sprinkle, so I don't think I will. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to go look and see if I have a Raycor. Since I'm waiting on parts for the Johnson 115, I'm going to shift gears. And do a preliminary inspection on this guy. Um, I filmed this motor hanging precariously off the back of an old skiff oh several videos ago and it's a Mercury 1990 50 horse three cylinder as far as I know it was really kind of seized um, but I put a breaker bar on there and started working it back and forth. So I'm going to take it in there and put it on my stand and just do a preliminary check on it. So I'm going to kind of shift gears here. So, we're going to head right over that way with it. <laughs> oh God. So 
I put a breaker bar on it. And uh, the fella I got it from claimed it was a running motor. Auto light spark plugs. I don't think that's what this came with. But they are the permagap, so they crossed them over. They are the permagap types, typical in a Merca, 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 Merca. They look pretty good, too. Auto light 2852. 2852. That's what we got. Now, I'm going to squirt the tri flow in there because this thing is tight. Plug the hole. Do the blow. See if we can't get this thing to at least. Point them over. Gotta find the snockamit. That'd be the snockamit right there. Take it a breaker. Take it a breaker. She's toy. She's toy. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. For all I know, it could have been submerged. But she's loosening up. A little bit of that lube. In them cylinders. There we go. All right. Now, let's try the old. Milwaukee one half. Yeah, see if I can hang on to this thing and get this thing spinning. You even in there. Don't have to be so far away, you know. There we go. So I got the old Milwaukee on it. Let's see if it Breaks my elbows or whatever. She spit us over now. Let's see what we can. Do on a sparky check. Okay, so which so it's these three right in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. I got sparky. Watch these one, two, three right in here. Right in there. Got Sparky on one, two, three. Okay, so we got some Spark. First time I thought I saw one of them Spark, but I think the other two might have been ground in there. But we got Sparky. So 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do the compressionis. But these numbers might be a little askewed because of the lubrication I put in there. So it's kind of a wet test. I'm zeroed out. So yeah. This video's getting a little long. So I'll end it with a song. You know what you gotta do. Come back for part two. So please hit that like button. And hit that subscribe. And come back for part two to see if these old American outboards come back to life. So, you know I'm gonna end this video now. That's what I need to do. And I will see I hope I do. I hope that I will see you in part two. That's going to be a wrap. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.